Okay, sorry about that. We restored power. And here we go. Um, we talked about digestion. Now we're going to move on to life property number eight. Digestion being life property number seven. And absorption is life property number eight. And we, in our, into our bloodstreams, we absorb nutrients from our digestive system. Into our lymph vessels, we're actually going to absorb things like pathogens and stuff that might cause disease. It's a super handy thing that your digestive system does for you to keep you healthy. If you turn your paper sideways like this, these two tubes here are um, representing the blood, which would absorb nutrients and amino acids and all the things we break our sugars down into and our fats down into and our proteins down into, and then our lymph vessels. And these will run side by side all the time with every digestive structure. Now, if you look right here in the small intestine, there are these little features called villi. And villi are what do the absorbing. So remember, the hand signal for absorption is eight little fingers like this because it's number eight. They're shaped exactly like villi. Sorry for the Sasquatch hands. Okay, moving on. Okay, we also will engage in life process number nine, especially in our large intestine, where these good bacteria make vitamin K. Vitamin K, sorry. Good bacteria make vitamin K which is a vitamin that's important for our body to have so our blood will clot normally. So these bacteria are doing that in your large intestine. So your digestive system also does synthesis in addition to digestion and absorption. It also has a movement feature that we call propulsion, but it's really just a fancy name for movement. And obviously this propulsion we're all well aware of, okay? The first type of propulsion is called peristalsis, P-E-R, Stalsis, there we go, P-E-R-I-S-T-A-L-S-I-S. -S -S. And that's basically just movement from your mouth to your anus, and it's kind of a wave-like contraction that's always occurring in your, um, in your digestive system as food gets moved through the system and food gets absorbed and waste will actually end up leaving, of course, after all the absorption has been taking place, okay? It also um, is embodied by what we call segmentation, which is that movement that we talked about before as part of the small intestine. Okay, also termed a type of propulsion. Now, there's one more form of absorption that I missed here, okay? And again, it occurs here in the large intestine, and I mistakenly put like RE here. Please cross that out and just write H2O is absorbed, okay? Back into the bloodstream, some about like 20% of your daily water content actually comes from food the water in your food basically being absorbed into your bloodstream. Super cool. And then, of course, life process number 10, number 10 is uh, part of this as well, and it's excretion, which occurs at the end of the digestive system where we typically find the rectum and anus, which, because we're a biology class of some sort, we actually have to say that word every now and then. All right, thanks. Sorry, I hope I didn't traumatize you too much through this video. Have a nice rest of your day.